So hi guys, welcome back. And in this video, I wanna show you how you can actually simulate a keyboard press using Puppeteer. And again, it's pretty straightforward. But for this example, I have uh, choose this website, zerowebobsecret.com, which is a uh, pretty much simulation demo website, which simulates the banking environment. And nothing is real, everything is completely fake, there is no real backend. But it's super cool that you want to train or practice your test automation skills or let's say web scraping, etc. And also we can use it for testing a keyboard simulation. Because as you can see, there is a search box, but there is no way to submit it elsewhere than pressing enter. So we can use it right now. So if you technically want to basically simulate the key press, all you have to do is first fill the value, for example, in this input, and then call puppeteer key press command and specify the key which you want to type. So let's start with taking the URL. And let's say after that, we want to call the go to function. And we will visit the website. Step number two, inspect the search box. And as you can see, it's input of ID search term. So let's take it. And here we want to type some value. So ID of search term and the value can be, let's say, hello world. But before we type into that, it's common practice to call wait for selector. and wait for the search term. So our test will not be flaky if there will be some delay in the connection or in the loading times. And last step is to click enter. And to do it, all you have to do is await page.keyboard.press. And now we need to specify the key which you want to press. In our case, it's enter. And also you can set the value of delay. So let's give it a 10 milliseconds. And that's basically it. And let's now put some weight. So page dot wait for. And let's give it five seconds. So we can actually see that the keyboard press was successful. So let's now run the test. And actually we are running the test in headless mode, so we didn't see it. But as you can see, it was successful. But let's go back on the top and let's set headless to false. And let's run it. And you have seen it filled the hello world and press enter. And we can navigate it to the search results page. So yeah, that's pretty much it. If you want to simulate any keyboard press, all you have to do is to call page keyboard press, and then you have to specify the value of that keyboard, and that's pretty much it. There is a lot of combinations, but most likely you'll be working with enter, maybe escape, and also you can specify a delay between the keystrokes. So I think that's it. And yeah, let's move on.